All right, time to start playing around with Ultron. Whee, look at that awesome cape. All black. <laughs> All right, so I'm still lacking some of these things for his... Uh, oh, yeah, they need so many stupid spiky ball things. And there's only two 10 energy nodes I can farm them from, and I already have Korath and Jessica Jones at seven stars, so I don't really want to waste the energy farming them there. Um, and then they really haven't been popping up in the store for me. I was actually thinking, I need so many of these damn things, I might actually start using war credits on them, just because you can get 10 for like 800 or something. Not terrible, but you know. Anyways, uh, cool thing is uh, when you need to spend a lot of gold to upgrade a new character like this, uh, it's going to count towards your uh, Captain Marvel stuff. So uh, you can see here, I've got another, you know, up to 1.2 million more, or no, geez, 1.4 million more I could spend and still make it useful for Captain Marvel shards. So that's, that's nice. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of that, get him up a little higher, and uh, see if I can't make him a little more useful. All right, so I'll get him up there. What do I need to do? to? Get, so we want his passive upgraded, that's for sure. So on kill, all villain tech allies have four positive effects prolonged by a duration of one. That's pretty nice. And then, um, what actually, oh, all positive effects. That's that's what it changes to. So that's useful. I don't know. He doesn't get that many quite yet, so I don't really want to waste it on that yet. Because um, I am liking this alt, and I'm also liking um, his... Uh, minion summon. I think this is the primary one everybody should be upgrading first. Uh, it just costs so much to upgrade these dudes from, yeah, look, now I'm down to 200k. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And there's no special raids to give me uh, gold orbs right now, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be hurting. It's, it's going to be rough. So anyway, we're going to play around with some Ultron and uh, see how he does. Um, let's see, I can eat Oh, gosh, so many pop-ups. All right. Come on, Groot Shards. Damn it. Well, so I do need Assault, so that's cool, but whatever. Yeah, I really need to start my second run of Fear of the Darkness, because uh, I need money really bad. <laughs> I think I need another million or an half or so to get Ultron up to uh, level 70, so that's going to... That's going to be expensive. Let's see, where are we at right now at the raid season? I want to see. Yeah, we're, we're way down there. Yikes. All right. Let's see. There's no tech gear to get. I already got one of those, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, so I can't start for another hour and 15 minutes, so I'm not going to do that tonight. So I'm just going to start tomorrow night when uh, I do my stream. And uh, we'll start going through run two uh even without ultron uh, i think i'll be okay it's just gonna take a while um like you saw in the first time i ran through it it was uh a bit slow but i'm gonna see what i can do to speed it up what uh, i want i don't want to upgrade star lord to um uh what do you call it his uh tier 13 until i know how much i need for ultron because i'm pretty sure i need 20 of these times like two or three for Ultron. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need like 50 of these for Ultron. And I still need uh, 30 for Star Lord because I got full piece here, which I'm pretty sure Ultron uses. And then a full piece here, which actually Ultron does use this too. Um, but I, I guess I could equip this one just for the heck of it because I got two of them. So I did get two of those drops. So that's nice. Make him a little bit uh, healthier. <laughs> But uh, let's go do some Blitz. Let's see how Ultron does in Blitz. All right. So um, let's see. I need to get through. Let's see. This is, this is a pretty good matchup. Um, so here's something fun. Let's try this. So my Ultron is right around the ability or the power of my shield uh, op. So let's try him and the Fury team against their number one opponent, which is Brotherhood. Let's see if Ultron can swing the battle in Fury's favor against Brotherhood. I, I don't know. That might work. I haven't actually tried this. I have no idea. <laughs> this, might be this might be terrible. 
we'll we'll see. All right. Uh, let's turn on some noises, huh? All right. So we can't hit anyone because they're blind. So I'll just shoot like that. Ultron is blind too. Uh, but we can call in minions. So there's some minions. Uh, still blind. Still blind. Uh, still, still blind. And uh, ouch. There's the taunt. That's good. And then we're going to call in these dudes. All right, so we got more minions. Oh no, the minions, my beautiful minions. All right, um, so we want to kill that speed up. Yeah, that's good. All right, oh, there goes one of my minions. Oh, there goes the other minion. That's not good. Oh, and then they uh, juggernaut taunted. That's not good either. All right, let's share this. Ooh, uh, what do we have? We have heal block on shield assault. So let's see if we can get this powered or uh, offense down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, he has defense up. Let's see. Yeah, we get three energy. That's nice. Ooh, Ultron's almost dead. That's not good. Oh, no, he killed my Ultron. Thankfully, there's a revive. Ooh, and disrupt. Oh, man. Let's see if we can steal one of these and give it to Fury. Nope. Uh, damn it. Why did that go through? <laughs> Let's get rid of those. Uh, let's see if we can get a stun on him. <laughs> nope. I give that to Fury, but he's disrupted, so it doesn't matter. Man, those two turn taunt. This is just murderous. Alright, so we got all our heal block cleared, so this will get everybody back up. That's nice. There go my minions again, and he's disrupted, so that's kind of useless. Uh, there's some bleeds. That's not good. Um, let's see. Steal two positive effects and clear taunt, but she's got a fade stacked up like mad, so let's uh, hit Magneto instead. And we'll just hit her to clear one of those evades, but that, then she gets it right back. Whew! Alright, let's offense down the Sabertooth. Uh, let's hit Magneto. We need to get rid of Magneto because that speed up is just murdering me right now. I don't know if this is going to go very well. I think I might lose my Ultron, which is kind of my whole plan for winning. So that's bad. Um, let's do this again. <sighs> let's do, what is the speed ups? Let's do offense up. Let's give people some regens. That's good. Uh, let's see if we can kill that guy. Let's see if we can slow him. Or offense down. Damn. This disrupt just will not go away. <laughs> well, let's see how much damage we can do. Oh, we got the death proof off him. That's nice. Let's see if we can get Sabretooth down. All right, there we go. Uh, Juggernaut. Let's slow him, or well, do some turn meter removal, and let's see if we can get him down with the ult. There we go. 84k. That's that's pretty good damage. That's not bad. Um, this this is turning around. This is uh, going pretty good. Let's slow him. Yeah, there we go. Let me do that. And and he teleports away. That's that's very nice, Pyro. All right, I think I think we're doing pretty good here. I think we can just you know keep on keep it on here. Heal everybody up. Let's do some crazy buffs. There's the speed ups. There's the buff steal. There's the offense up. And let's do whatever this is. Speed ups. All right. And let's do the ult to blast her off the side of the map. 64k. Get out of here. Wow. Yeah, so that's Ultron. Um, he's uh, kind of a game-breaking AI. Um, kind of like in the movie, actually. Um, kind of just ruins everything uh, in his path. It's, it's just kind of his thing. I don't know why he does it. He's had a bad childhood or something. I don't know. He's uh he's just one of those characters. He just won't won't stop. He just murders everything in his path. It's like the Fury teams when they first came out. Hmm. Alright, so we've seen that Ultron plus a Fury team can decimate a Brotherhood team of about equal power. That's, that's interesting. Um I think I need to slot Ultron and where is he now? He's at like thirty K. Uh, oof, 
and I want to get this factory upgrade, but I don't have gold. I'm out of gold, and I don't have the stuff. That sucks. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do another fight, I guess. What can we fight here? So either tier 13s on these guys, and then Magneto with five reds is nice. That's where mine is too, but mine's I think mine's tier 11 with a bunch of improvements on his abilities. And they're big and bad. Hmm. He's got a little more power, and he's got a Fury instead of a Groot. But Ultron's not very debuff heavy. If anything, I really think, like, honestly, the best thing about his little minions is the fact that they uh, just continually... Um, they, they just continually generate energy and a bunch of them reduce turn meter on the opponent, which is awesome. So, uh, yeah. So you can do Vision with Star-Lord and Ultron. Um, it seems pretty good. Hmm. I don't really think Fury's necessary. We got plenty of minions to go around. Defense down from Spider-Man might be interesting, but I don't think it's really needed. And then, yeah, I think that's it. I'll just let Star-Lord be the Ultron slash Magneto battery, because Ultron doesn't really need a battery. He's he's pretty self-sustainable with all the uh, energy his minions generate, and then every time he kill things, like he generates more energy, and it's just... I don't know, he is his own battery. That's what makes him so OP. Like, I mean, he can get his ults two or three times in a match sometimes depending on your luck of the draw and how many things you can kill hmm alright so I think because there's a rocket star lord combo we're actually going to open with the blind and that will keep people alive for a little bit and then we're going to re-blind the rocket so you can't ult my people or assist and then we want to get rid of that offense. Uh, oh my god, I forgot I was blind. Damn it! That was dumb. Alright, well. Oh wow, Juggernaut already got his ult. Yeah, whatever, we need a tank. Uh, let's do this. Let's do speed ups for people and offense ups. And let's try to blast through with an offense up. That is 64k! That's pretty solid, but yeah, that, that offense up is going to hurt. I should have gotten that off of the fury I made a mistake let's try ability block with the offense up <laughs> it's gonna hurt yoch uh, let's get rid of all those buffs thank you let's uh he's blind ooh offense up on the rocket needs to stop prevent that and then let's uh let's hit right here in the middle and see if we can kill him there we go. Offense up on the Juggernaut. Not bad. So that's the cool thing is I think Ultron basically replaces Fury because of all the buffs that his uh, little minions give, you know? Like, I mean, his minions are a little bit more sustainable. They have completely different abilities, which is nice because there's, yeah, there's, they start with defense up. I mean, look at this. This guy gives speed up. This guy... He gives offense up, and he fills Ultron's speed bar, and if Ultron already has offense up, he gets energy. I mean, how cool is that? Look at this guy. Same thing. and Or no, fills Ultron's speed bar by 40% instead of 25 I mean, so there's 400%. All right, let's blast him. And then he's almost got full turn meter again because it overfills. Like, how cool is that? Like, I mean, honestly, like... All right, so we got the offense up on him against the 60k juggernaut, but he doesn't have any defense up or anything like that. So let's see. This should do 620% damage, piercing too. So it goes through his armor. So his armor, which juggernaut has a lot of armor, goes through that. Deals double if they have defense up. And then gain one ability energy per positive effect on self. So that would be two more ability energy back to Ultron. So really, if you could just keep stacking buffs, like, that would be crazy. I kind of wonder if Ultron would do really well paired with a, a 
character like a shield medic that gives lots and lots of regeneration buffs and you know with the passive and her alt if that would maybe maybe also help with this so you get lots more energy so i'm gonna have to tinker with that because i'm really curious to see if you can just keep continually generating more and more energy by having all that stuff so there you go 64k on a 30k ultron against a 60k plus juggernaut i think it's 70k or something silly like that's that's awesome like it's, whew, 230k is my power that's not right oh that was my attack power okay this is my current uh arena defense juggernaut magneto uh fury war machine and star lord so star lord can feed all or can feed war machine to do his alt on the first turn which means that it'll go through blind and do a fuck ton of damage especially if the fury minions are still up so that's pretty nice and then <laughs> look at this everybody else is like doing something he's floating he's spinning his balls and yeah, Star Lord's, you know, working it. And Ultron's just like a statue. <laughs> he's just like, he's in sleep mode or something. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Oh, it's a new day. New dawn, new day. All right. So, let's test this theory out. So, how many buffs can I get on Ultron so that every time he takes a turn, he's just constantly generating energy with his ult, like when he does do damage to people? I think eh, that might be a fun little experiment. So I think Fury and Medic can help with that. Shield Security will just eat damage. And then who else can give him buffs? I think this might be fun. Um need long-term buffs too like ones that stay up for a couple of turns like he would give d up he would or she would give speed up occasionally um hmm kingpin kingpin would be a good choice all right let's try this i'm sure there's better ones out there uh you know nobu giving counter that's that's a good one because not many and none of these guys give counter and then hmm Mm-hmm. Got to think about it. And hand sentry with the evade and uh Ooh. Maybe yeah, that's what I should do. Let's try this stupid team. Instead of using the crossbone and the stealth bombers, we're gonna use these things. And then yeah, I'll just let Fury just he can do the offense up two turns, I guess. I don't know. We'll we'll see how this goes. Um this is probably a really stupid team, but you know what? I don't care. So let's fight guardians. Guardians are good. They 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 do things. We can fight them. I don't want it to be too easy of a matchup. I know it's like a 20k power difference, which is a decent amount. But you know what? This is this is the first night of many with Ultron. So we might as well enjoy it and do some stuff. Who knows how this is gonna go? Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want her to do two turn regeneration on Ultron, but that's probably not going to happen because of all the other people that are going to steal his stuff. Oh, ow. Don't murder my people. I need those people, damn it. What the shit, man? Oh my god. Alright, let's hide all these people. They need to heal. <laughs> Alright, there's some buffs. And we got two turn evade, or no, stealth. That's pretty solid. Give him offense up and a little turn meter. Let's give everybody regenerations because we need those. And then look at this. All right, getting one ability per positive effect on self. So let's see if this is five or if the stacks matter. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the five. But let's just do it. He's got deflect up. And then, yep, 48k because it's blocked. Five energy. So that was five buffs, so he got five energy. All right, that's expected. Well, that's fine. Let's seal up Fury a little bit because he probably needs it. All right, let's slow him. I don't know why I did that, actually. That was a really dumb idea. Uh, we don't actually need to use Kingpin stuff right now, so let's throw out these idiots. Um, oh, just one of them. That's fine. Uh, we'll use this to share all these buffs again <laughs> and just keep the stacks going. And then we'll see what happens here. All right, close that speed bar or... 
Turn that speed bar down a little bit. There goes that guy. That's fine. We don't need him. He sucks. All right, look at this. So he can call in more minions, but there's only one minion slot on the board, so I don't want to do that. But he's almost got his alt back. So let's steal these buffs. <laughs> and, oh, did I steal the taunt? No, it clears taunt, but it steals everything else. Unfortunately, he's going to lose a lot of this stuff on his next turn. So let's slow, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, one ability energy for Ultron. Nice. Let's do that, too. And then let's, let's, ooh, nope. Let's slow him. Let's shoot this Star Lord guy. And then we'll die. Right, there we go. Get some more buffs on people. Alright. Let's slow, like reduce his turn meter. Let's let's punch her in the face. If she needs it. Alright. And then let's just ro like let's let's laser beam this rocket. Alright. Let's show him our final form. 64k and five energy back. <laughs> and then look at all the prolongs. <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> All right, let's see that another energy for Ultron. All right, let's let's see if we can uh, keep these guys alive a little longer. Uh, we'll just slow him. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, we're gonna hit the Mantis because she has a lot of health. All right. Oh, he's one one away from getting his ult. Damn. Let's hope to use it again. All right, let's call on the minion. Only one minion. Oh, wow, he just assisted. All right, let's do this because it's stupid. Let's do this because it's really stupid. And this is really, really stupid. All right, there we go. All right, let's 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 blast that Star-Lord right in the junk. All right, 64K. He's topping out of there every time. Because of his piercing, he ignores the armor, so he's always doing the same amount of damage every time. And, uh, yeah, there. Iron Man laser beam to the face. Nice. But yeah, so that's the, uh, I'm guessing that's 6.2 times whatever my damage is. Yeah, I gotta look up. Uh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I should have done this earlier. That was, that was my bad. Um, my Ultron is level 66, 6664, and he's tier 10, 73k health, 6900 damage. So, hmm. wait, 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 6.2... Hang on a sec. I've done this before. Damage calculations. What is that? So, let's see. 69.60 times 6.2 equals 43.152. And then, oh, offense up. So, that's why. So, and then, so that, that's, um, so 69.60 times 6.2. So, this is 6.2 or 620% of your current damage total. Uh, it'd be 43,152. Let's see, times 1.5 equals 64,728. There you go. That's the damage. That's that's exactly what we would expect it to do. And if we were to change that, let's say 6960 times 7 for the next upgrade, it goes to 700%. That would be 48,720 damage times 1.5 for offense up equals 73,080 damage unbuffed. Although if they have defense up, it says that they do double damage. So I think that just cancels the defense up, right? So it would just be because defense up would negate it by half. But then I wonder how that works with the offense up interaction. I wonder they should cancel each other out. But then do you still get the double bonus damage? I don't know. I wonder how that order of operations stacks because that would that would change the way that it does the damage depending on how it counts it. Like like where does like. Like, you know, in Magic the Gathering, when you have a stack of actions or whatever, and you play one, and you play the next one on top of it, and then you remove one at a time, and that's how you do the damage uh, and figure out who kills what first before attacking and all that. Um, so I wonder if uh, what the order of operations is for this. Now I'm kind of curious. I want to go see. So if we were to fight, let's see. Can we find a... Oh, Luke Cage. Perfect. All right. So we don't want to kill these people so quickly, so that's 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 not good. And the minions from Fury are just annoying because we don't we don't need minions from him. Um, let's do Vision. Let's just keep him alive. And who else? Oh yeah, I wanted to do Nobu because the counter. It's just one more uh, one more buff I can give him. Although Rocket has a lot of buffs that he just randomly gives people because he's very friendly like that. Hmm. Loki also does evade, but it's it's less useful. 
Uh, oh no, not Loki. Let's do Nobu. I want the, I want that counter up. I don't know who else would give him counter that isn't like useless. Um, I mean, not that Nobu's all that great, but you know, I mean, he'll just kind of, you know, he won't kill anything on purpose. That's that's nice of him. So, do him and Hand Sentry together. They get a little bit of, they get a little synergy, right? Um, plus 40% chance. Oh, I don't want him to gain assists. I don't want to kill anything. I want to. I want Ultron to kill everything. I guess the only other thing is I could put in Star Lord as a battery, but then he's gonna kill stuff because Star Lord's really good at killing things. So do I have any way of giving Oh you know what? Groot gives death proof. That might be useful. Huh. So Sentry's good. He gives counter. He gives defense up X2 plus offense up. She can give regens. Um hmm. let's do this. The death proof will persist. That'll be one more thing. And then we can just get a whole bunch of Ultron ults. So this could be a lot of fun. All right, so which one has the lower Punisher? Because that's who we want to fight. Yeah, that's it. That's my bitch right there. Because Ultron, or the only thing is Punisher does double damage against uh, villains. And so do his buddies in the, the whatever defense squad thing. Like, they, uh, yeah, they'll do that. But we can, we can, we can. We can deal with that. That's okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Who goes first? Ooh, Daredevil with some big hits there. All right. Good block there, Sentry. Ooh, Iron Fist goes too. And Jessica Jones. Youch. All right. So if I call in the minions, they're going to give defense up to him and themselves. So that's useful. Um, if I call in these minions, they're just going to die. So that's kind of pointless. Um... So I'll just shoot him for the hell of it. Oh, and if I use this, then uh, Evade's going to go away because he's going to sweep through and, and remove it. I don't want to do that. So we'll, we'll just do this. That's fine. All right, everybody survived. That's all that matters. Let's do some buffs. There's speed ups. Let's get Ultron up. All right. And yeah, we're, we don't have that many buffs. Only three. But we got to do it. So um, and we'll call in more minions. Well, so we'll get three three ability energy out of this. All right. Let's do this. Should be that 67, or 64, 728. Not bad. All right. Defense up and death proof for everybody. Um, let's call in some distractions. That works. There you go. Let's call in some more distractions because, you know, why not? And we're going to evade everybody. Stealth everybody, and then here we go. All right, let's slow down this Punisher here. Let's do that, steal that buff, and sure. To... Oh, um, all right. I don't want to steal his defense up. I want him to have it when he's taunts. Um, let's see. Let's steal an Iron Fist thing. Oh, that didn't work. Mm. All right. Well, whatever. Get rid of counters. Ooh, assist from Ultron. Ooh. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Alright. Then, I don't know. Um, eh, probably just want to get rid of the Punisher so that everybody stays up. Alright, here we go. Give everybody extra counters. Oh, he stole a counter. Oops. Um, sure, let's steal everybody slightly. <laughs> I don't want to eat that counter, damn it. All right, there we go. The defense up, offense up, or not. I guess it didn't. Oh, I guess it doesn't give it to everybody. Well, that sucks. All right. Damn. Let's hope. Oh, man, I still don't have the energy. Oh, well. Let's steal all those. Hmm. It's not going as planned. Let's do this. Get everybody speed up. Let's uh, eat this. Alright, let's call in the minions. Offense up. Shoot this guy. Ooh, we dodged the assist. Yeah, I'm trying to leave Iron Fist up so that they don't die. Let's see if we can. Damn it, still don't have that ready. Alright, well, let's regen everybody. There we 
go. Alright, let's well, land a Jessica. I guess. Ah, <sighs> well, I got five buffs on him, so that should get him his special, but he needs eight for his ult, so that's not enough. Man, I'm not, I don't even have defense up on him. I thought, hmm, I guess the kingpin thing was not to turn. Hmm. Well, let's see. I guess we can melt Iron Fist. Why not? Bzz, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Blast her. Blast him. And yeah, there's not much to do here. That's fine. Let's get him defense up again in case he does have his ult for some reason. Nope. Two turns or two energy short. Oh, I can't call in one. Give him some turn meter. Maybe he'll get to go again before this guy dies. Probably not. Nope. But yeah. Dude, Ultron is just so stupidly overpowered. This is, this is like, this is just insane. This must be what it felt like to get Fury, like, when he first came around. Like, I, I had to wait until, like, his third time available to have him, because I just never wanted to work on Kree. Like, it just wasn't my thing. So, and now I'm about to get him all the seven stars, so. You know, things change. What can you say? Okay, that's not a very interesting fight. Oh, can we find interesting matchup? Brawlers, defenders, none of these guys know how to fight my dudes. None of these guys. Um, let's just do a tech team. Let's do... Let's do... What would be my best tech team? That's Vision and... Actually, hang on a sec. Thanos feeds cosmic allies, but he's... Okay, Ultron is global, though, I think. Let's double check. Yes. Villain global tech blaster. Okay, so that's not going to help. Let's uh, redo this. So, we want Ultron right there, and we're going to give him a battery. And that battery is named Star Lord. We're gonna put Vision over here. Oh, let's throw in Minerva. Why not? And uh, who's the best tech tank to have? I'm guessing it's Crossbones. And then, but really, I want to be doing this at a higher tier. Is the thing. This is gonna be too easy. I need to be doing this at like 4x and or tier 8. You know, 4x. 4.3 or 8.3 or whatever it is, and then that'll really show it off. But let's, uh, let's the guardians are tough. Let's fight that. Can always do the other one tomorrow night with uh, some tougher matchups. Let's see. I got to do my run and blitzing anyway, so might as well. Okay, let's blast these guys. Yeah, he depends up. Damn. This guy's hit hard. Um no, let's just blind everyone. There we go. That's the three guys I wanted to blind. And I'll just punch them all, because why not? Alright, let's call in the reinforcements. And then let's heal up here. Man, that's a nice, nice ability. Alright, taunt with him. And then let's call in some buffs. All right, there we go. Good job, Drax. Let's get that alt going. All right, so 620% piercing damage. This ability deals double damage against targets with defense up. Gain one ability energy per positive effect. So I get three back. That's fine. But let's watch the damage total. I want to see what it is. Is it 73k? No, 64, 728. Okay, so the defense... Uh, so the defense up causes double damage, but he already had uh, offense up as well. So I assume those cancel, and it's just doing the raw damage that it would normally do. And since there's so much piercing on it, you don't have to worry about armor mitigation. So, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Just interesting. I just want to play around with it. Let's, let's get rid of these buffs for them. They don't need those buffs. It's kind of funny with the Gatling gun approach. Like, he misses everything, you know? Like... 
like he needs to aim or something. All right, change the speed bar by 25%. There we go. That's nice. Let's uh, make her bleed. Let's attack this guy. Steal that buff. Go to Ultron, so he gets the all uh, the offense up. And uh, yeah, let's just do this for fun. We'll kill Groot first. Oh wait, let's just blast him with offense up. <laughs> I'm wondering how good this team would actually be in Arena with Crossbones, Ultron, Minerva, Vision, and then Star-Lord. Like, Star-Lord can hold his own. He doesn't have to have Rocket or Groot or anybody else to do well. He's, he's pretty solid on his own. I mean, I don't know. I kind of wonder, like, how, how that would go. Um, hmm. I wonder if we swap those two. Well, we were not always feeding him necessarily. But we put, let's say, Rocket in the middle here. So we got all these guys, and they all have defense up two to start. And then, yeah, that seems like it would be pretty solid as a team. Uh, is this, uh, this is a high armor team. I should be able to kill a crossbones. So that doesn't look too bad. Man, I wish I'd gotten up to 8x or whatever. I think it would be a little bit more fun to play. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do this one. Six red star Iron Man. He can do some nasty damage if he gets his ult off, but uh, you know me. I probably won't let him. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a weird noise. That doesn't sound right at all. Uh, whew. Yeah, so these three can do some damage. If they had a vision instead of Hawkeye, I'd be really worried about this team. But they don't. Look at all that. Ooh, and the offense down assist. Ooh. All right, let's uh, ability block him so he doesn't taunt. Damn, that guy's Iron Man already down. I haven't even taken a turn with Ultron yet. This has got some good burst damage. So look, then you get speed up on these guys. You get defense up. And then let's blast this dude with offense up. 68k, not bad. I'll kill them. Man, all right. Well, that was a short-lived fight. <laughs> yeah, I need to go fight some teams that are like 50k higher. Oh, he blocked it. Let's see. Let's do that. Yeah, defense up. So only did 34,000 damage, but that's still pretty solid. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's doing it on the feed, but man, that the sound in the game just started going all sorts of wonky. Um, hmm, Brotherhood against tech. Hmm, yeah, let's give it a go. Let's see. All right. Well, I guess Rescue Blitz is on Thursday. My Rescue is still level one. I haven't touched her. She's uh, going to be sitting down there for a while. All my tech gear is going into Ultron right now. And he wrecked my tech gear supply. So I'm kind of stuck. All right. So we'll shoot. Yeah, let's just see. Let's just see if we can auto this. Let's just sit back, drink some drink some whiskey, and watch. Hmm. Not my Ultron. Ooh, ouch. He's going to bleed to death, isn't he? Oh, no, he didn't quite yet. Yikes. He's got a respawn. And then there's the buffs. There's regens are nice. And then, ooh, can't quite kill it, Juggernaut. And then they just took the buffs off of my... Crossbones, so that kind of sucks. Offense up rocket was pretty solid there, but then he dies to the juggernaut alt. Um, yeah, get some blinds, that's useful, but not a big deal. And then, yeah, there's some more Ultron minions. He's uh, he doesn't have a lot of buffs right now. We need more buffs. That's that's what we really need. All right, so he steals that. He stole the death proof from Juggernaut, so that's good. Kills Pyro. Um, steals the speed up from the Magneto. 
and kill him. Ooh, look at that. The death proof saved uh, Sabertooth there. Uh, yeah, and there's more Ultron minions. <laughs> they just, once they get a rolling, jeez. And the cool thing is, is like, because he generates so much energy for himself with his ult, look at that, five more energy, and the minions generate energy for him too, in like our Alliance War defense, he's going to be really, really tough to fight, because even if you like send in a feeder and stuff, and he wastes his like summons, um, they may generate some energy for him if they get some, some attacks off so you gotta watch what he does and what the turns are and so i guess for fighting him if you could do a feeder that's like moderately geared you know just so that they survive like maybe more than one hit um you can get his minions to summon get them down or get them out of the way and just uh you know die and come back in with a stronger team so that he doesn't have the minions to give him a whole bunch of buffs so the other cool thing is I wonder Ultrons in like cargo bay would be really painful because they would get all those random buffs from, from the room. So that could be interesting too. All right. Is there anything interesting to fight here? Got Doomeldor. Yeah, I guess we could do this. <laughs> I can't. I think vision is a must have. I really like Juggernaut as a tank, but you know, for human control, maybe crossbones would be better. The only problem is then Magneto doesn't go first. And he needs to go first in order to get uh, the Disrupt landed on the Juggernaut. So I'm pretty sure I can't do that. But I can always throw in crossbones here and then put Vision next to them and then throw in Magneto. And we could try this, 224k, uh, not a terribly high high power team, but uh, it could be fun. This could work. Let's just see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so they blind on turn one, and I will disrupt on turn one and make sure that he goes before the group oh no i can't do that oh no they murdered him oh lame all right well um let's ability block Groot. <laughs> oh my god i'm a blind i'm an idiot uh let's call in the minions let's uh just miss that's fine Whew. all right good thing you didn't clear that debuff yet and we'll do our Ultron stuff and then hope they don't die to the rocket alt. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can one shot rocket here with the offense up. Oh, no, not quite. Damn it. Well, offense up crossbones alt will get them. That's for sure. Decent damage, not particularly great. Um, hmm. Let's do that. Uh, I think he's about to do his alt. Uh, let's let's hit him with one first and see if we can get him down. No, not quite. But yeah, they aren't gonna survive much longer. That's for sure. Uh, let's get rid of Magneto. There's death proofs. There's no death proofs. And then there's a punch. Fifth face. Ooh, punch him a lot. And then kill group. And it's over. And I only have a 30k Ultron. He's not even like upgraded like i haven't even done any of his orange upgrades like this is just silly all the buffs like i mean he's enabling this team to do so much more because of his buffs like that's just i don't know that's just crazy to me <sighs> well that was kind of fun just running around with ultron doing some stuff um oh yeah i need to do my dailies huh let's see do we have a red star orb to open we do and then, yeah, I don't care about those orange thingies. Oh, you know what? This is a blaster challenge, isn't it? I wonder if Ultron makes this challenge like super easy. I'm going to have to try that next time it comes up because I just wasted all my charges. <laughs> Come on, group. Come on, big money. Nope. Anyway. 
no big deal. I think that's it for the night. Uh, that was kind of fun messing around with Groot or with uh, Ultron and trying some random teams. I'm gonna do some more of that, experimenting and and see what I can find because. I don't know. There's just a lot that we could do with him. I don't know. It's just he fits so well in every single tech team possible. But then, honestly, I think you could throw him in just about anywhere. Like, do four defenders plus Ultron. And just let him be the damage instead of Punisher and see how that goes. Or maybe three defenders plus Punisher and Ultron. That might be pretty nasty. Uh, if you just leave out Jessica Jones. She's usually pretty popular as the uh, fourth wheel on that uh, defenders group. So... Maybe we'll try some of that, maybe maybe uh, another night, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching.